Hello and welcome to Manchester Caravan Show. We've come down here, it's Saturday, the uh, 18th, no 19th of January. We're just gonna have a look around. I know this show is slightly smaller than the NEC show, uh, which is uh, suitable for me, but uh, we're gonna have a look around and see what we can find. We'll see you soon. So with the eight foot market taking off, uh, this is one of Luna's um, entries that they've put in. It's the Luna Alaria. Uh, so we'll just have a look around that and see what it's like inside. foot wide caravan yes it does look great it looks fantastic but at 34,000 pounds I have to ask myself are there other competitors in the same kind of market that can do this a lot better uh, and price wise a lot better I know Adria they've got some great eight foot wide caravans uh, probably 10 grand cheaper than this and Bailey do one as well which is a lot cheaper than this but obviously the refinement in this is absolutely fantastic so let's carry on and look around so as a comparison on the 8 foot, I'm going to look at this uh, Bailey Pegasus Grand and have a look inside this and this is slightly different, so let's look at the costings on this. So I think with the eight foot market, you've got to really do your research. Uh, obviously with this, um, the Bailey, it's got the Truma heating, it's not got Alda heating, whereas the Luna has. So um, of the two layouts, I prefer this layout with a bathroom in the middle. It seems to have a lot more room around in the bathroom and there's still quite a bit of room in the lounge and there's quite a bit of room in the bathroom. I also like the price tag as well. So that's a, just a quick look. Uh, I know everybody's seen these before, but I've not been in these. And uh, of the two, obviously, I would go Bailey on the eight foot wide ones. I've not seen the Adri yet, so we'll go and have a look at maybe one of those.
So of the eight foot wide caravans, uh, I'm unsure of what I'd go for, but there's quite a bit of good selection out there. Um, they are just quite a good price, quite a nice looking van. So let's see what £98,000 can buy you. This is a uh, Euro uh, Trekker from Motor, Te Motor Trek. This is very nice. It's got a pop outside, which makes the lounge feel absolutely huge. It's got air conditioning, really nice finish, drop down bed at the front. Part leather seats, quite a nice kitchen area. The finish on these units is uh, really nice. Large Dometic fridge, microwave. And into the bathroom area, fully lined shower where you step up into it and then you can close the front of the van off. Wow. And a really nice bedroom. So from 100, nearly under grand to uh, 15 grand, this one's for a uh, caravan vlogger. Graham, this one will do you just fine. So let's have a look inside. Oh, Graeme, you'd love this. It's uh, quite compact. Has got a sink, and a, two gas burners, and a fridge. Let's see what the toilet's like. Oh. You can uh, go in the toilet, have a wash, and a shower at the same time. Fantastic. I think that falls down into uh, bunk beds. Well, we're out of the show and we've been in there for five and a half hours and I can honestly say that I am now shattered. Um, it was very, very busy, so as you can see, uh, I didn't get a great deal of filming done. Uh, took quite a few photographs. What was good though was I was able to meet uh, quite a few subscribers uh, to the channel, which was really nice to stop and have a chat with them. There was a couple at the clap stand that I did start to talk to, but uh, they were too busy looking at the products, and I don't blame you, sir, because uh, there's some good products there. Uh, sorry I didn't get a chance to speak to you, but hopefully I, uh, I might catch you again. So we are on our way home, and we're going to have a brew and uh, sit down and uh, a chill out maybe a few beers later so thanks for watching and i will see you soon bye bye okay uh, this is the draw for the tickets we have a hat that's a label there's nothing in there okay holly's going to hold the hat and we have the uh, the nominees or the ones that have emailed me here so we've got uh paul mason put him in there we've got Roger Jones, who have you got? Um, 
Lee Marson. Lee Marson. Pull it up, put it in. We've got Posh Cats Camping. So they're going in there. Muddy Marvellous. And Terry Hike. So they're all going into the hat. I just want to say again, thank you very much to Joanne and Martin for uh, giving us those tickets and letting you guys have the chance of winning them. So we're just going to mix them all up like that in there. <laughs> and Molly, you can pick one out. Do you want to read it out? And the winner is? Lee Marson. Lee Marson. So leave you just drop me another email and then I'll send those tickets straight to you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.